Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case of some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. I would advise you guys to check in with your sun, moon, and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um, to connect with you for basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hey leo and this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading and for this month and onwards i am doing things differently well not exactly differently because this is how i usually do all of my readings personal readings paid sessions and all that and more importantly when i started youtube uh, back in 2015 this is how i usually do my readings we're in i just lay out all the cards we're in with a mixture of tarot lenormand oracle cards dices and playing cards all at the same time so that i will be able to channel the energy and what i am picking up like in psychic insights to what is to come for you for the month of December. So um, yeah, please do know that the things that I'm going to say might be quite specific. It is predictive type of reading, but it is still a general one. So please do know that it may or may not tune in for the rest of you guys. But do know that it is my hopes, dreams, and wish for you guys to gain insight and clarity into this reading so um yeah without any further ado let's get on with this reading for those that are in the sign of leo sun moon and rising sign okay the first thing that i am picking up with the reading for you guys is that there is great sensitivity going on right now in terms of your emotions and passion for truth to come to light you are very sensitive right now there is something that maybe you are wanting answers on you are sensitive in terms of everything that is going on around you it could be with a friend. It could be with a relationship. I just kind of feel that, you know, there are powerful emotions underlying wanting to come out of you. We do have the devil card here as your foundation. So I just kind of feel that it's like pent up energies that were not released and for the month of December, this could be the time wherein you might lash out. I mean, not really lashing out, but more on all of these energies that you have been keeping within yourself is going to come out in the open. You have been thinking about a certain person in your life. It could be a relationship or it could be just that you are just fixated with your feelings with a certain person who may or may not really returning back their feelings. 
Because this could be a scenario wherein you are dating someone or you are interested with someone and maybe things are quite on the rocky side of things. Things are not really working so well between you guys. Or this could be, you know, you are in a relationship with someone and maybe there is, you know, a lack of something. It could be a lack of interaction a lack of love you know you are feeling a lot of things but it's not really being shared but with between you and that person that is a possibility and also i kind of feel that this is also a situation wherein your intuition is going to be so strong it's easy for you to really find out the truth Especially if someone is deceiving you. It does not have to be your partner though. Maybe someone is trying to sabotage you, sabotage your relationship. And you will, you know, you will just know, you know, your sixth sense is so strong right now. You're, you're really psychic right now. And very sensitive with the energies all around. You will find out. If someone is trying to make a fool out of you, that kind of energy. You will also find out if someone is cheating behind your back. I'm not saying that that is the case, but if there are any deceptions around you, you are going to find out about that and you will get to the bottom of that. Because for Leo's, for this month of December, you will have a hard time controlling your emotions. So even though you tell yourself that I'm not going to lash out, I'm not going to do anything crazy, I'm not going to say anything impulsive, I kind of feel that it's not really possible for you to control whatever is going on with you. Because with how... Um, with the cards that I'm having here, there's a lot of passion, emotion, and pushing forward. And it has an energy here wherein you want answers here and now. I want to get to the bottom of this. I cannot wait any longer. It has that element. It has that energy. So, um, yeah. Do know that you will get to the truth. You will find out whatever truth um, that you need to know in this relationship, in this situation. It can be good or bad though with the page of swords here. But um, yeah, this is, this is really touching upon the idea wherein trust issues is going to be big, it's going to be highlighted, and it's going to be in focus. But we are getting here the energy we're in if you are in a relationship that is on the rocky side of things, it has the power to overcome it. You know, you will be able to overcome the adversities of the relationship because we do have this Ace of Swords over here. So there is a way to save and salvage the relationship, but a truth needs to get revealed first. So there are issues here wherein secrets are coming out in the open. Communication is going to be there as well. So if there are any miscommunication, it is going to be sorted out. More like, not exactly sorted out, but there is going to be some form of confrontation that is going to be transpiring here. You are willing to fight as well. You're willing to take a stand. You, you are not going to allow other people to step on you. Even with the person that you love, you know, you're not going to be so forgiving in that area. It's not as if you are going to act upon grudge, nothing like that. I just kind of feel that, you know, there is a strong willpower that I'm picking up on you. And um, yeah. And with this manner, by confronting this relationship, by confronting to whatever situation you are going through right now, you will 
there is going to be a sense of relief that you are going to be experiencing as if the shackles that has been bothering you, that has been leaving you with a lot of questions, are going to fade away, you know, and there is a sense of happiness in the air as a result of this, a sense of relief, you know, it's like you, all the confusions that you had is going to shift away, go away. It's just that, you know, even though I say this in a, in a, I don't know, I think I'm saying it in a wonderful way. I'm, say, I'm saying that, you know, at the end of the cycle, there is going to be a sense of relief, a sense of happiness, and a sense that you're ready to take on a new venture in your life once again. But I kind of feel that, you know, as you go along to December, you will notice that, you know, you are experiencing a lot of surprises here and there, and you're not really very pleased of all the events that are transpiring, it is triggering your ego, is triggering your emotions and passion quite strongly. So I'm not going to be surprised if there are words that you say that can hurt people, you know. Maybe you're telling the truth. Maybe you're being very blunt as well. Or it could be this is about, you know, communication that has to do with lies or white lies that needs to be sorted out needs some form of clarity i would say so a lot of talking a lot of engagement between you and a certain person and i kind of feel that loyalty in relationship and trust is going to be a big deal we have here the opal card opal is a gemstone um, and it signifies a lot to do with emotional releasing. It has a lot to do with relationship, but it has a lot to do with faith and loyalty and harmony in a relationship as well. So if you are in a situation wherein there's a lot of confusion, you are being emotional or you don't even know if you're still in a relationship. I do see that you are. And if you're not in a relationship, then, you know, the cycles that is going to be happening for you is going to um, relieve you from the burden of all of this emotional drama. Something is going to be releasing you from that. And... Yeah, there is going to be a sense of freedom in the air as a result. We have the card of you are gifted. And it tells us that you are very intelligent and talented. And like I said, you have a gift of intuition this month. And even if not this month, Leo, a lot of Leo people are intuitive as well, intuitive and intelligent all at the same time. And speaking of intelligence, we also have this Gemini in the second house and Uranus popping up. So Uranus in Gemini in the second house. So again, that activity on communication ideas is popping up. The only warning that I can give you guys here is that Maybe your ideas are going out of hand, uncontrollable, and that might lead to some repercussions as a result. Make sure that you're not dealing with third-party issues, you know? I mean, if, you, if your partner is in a third-party situation and you are confronting it, then that's good. But if you're the one being with two partners, um, I kind of feel that, you know, things can be quite rocky right there because you're the one who is going to be receiving all of these confrontations as a result of your temptation, that kind of energy. We also have here that, that, that card of the laughter that you need a good laugh. 
And this can be a scenario wherein, you know, like I said, you are so sensitive. Your emotions are really... Your emotions are uncontrollable this month and maybe you are dramatizing everything and sometimes all you really need is to be more be more witty, be more forgiving, be more fun to be around and not too dramatic. Maybe that is the reason why you know things have been on the rocky side between you and your partner. I mean I don't know. This is a general reading, so I can just give you guys the energies in place that I'm picking up. But the biggest energy that I'm really seeing over here is really more about you being highly intuitive, you about about finding out something, finding out a secret, realizing something after a form of discussions also this is also a situation that maybe some form of gossips are in the air and that will give you an idea about something that was hidden from you all at the same time messages is going to be very strong here as well but all at the same time it has a tone for for love for chances for opportunities coming into place so maybe this is a time that you are going to be fixing um, issues in the past so that you can start in a clean slate without any hidden agenda without any um without that bothersome conscious speaking to you that kind of thing so um yeah this is going to be a month we're in you will find out a lot of things you're going to fight for what you believe and fight for the truth that is really the biggest thing you are going to be fighting for the truth and there's going to be an opportunity for you to gain clarity, you know, not just with this reading, but I kind of feel that in your real life, in your real world, in your relationship, you will find answers. You will find some form of clarity, especially in terms of a relationship with someone, especially with this relationship with this person that you strongly have feelings with but maybe nothing is really pushing forward nothing is happening right there this can also be a situation wherein there could be power struggles between you between you and a certain person and that can be quite challenging yeah because we do have this ace of swords which can also be that element we're in you are speaking for yourself and the other person don't want to step down all at the same time and with with the moon card and the knight of swords it's like you know this can be emotional fights that can occur but again i will say this again and again it can be a month of drama it can be dramatic confrontational and all of that but do know that at the end of this cycle it will allow you to begin a new energy in this relationship some of you guys might just you know walk away from that relationship maybe because you don't trust that person anymore maybe you found out something that you know immoral that that person is doing behind your back that is possible either way you do have the full card as your end goal which means that there is a possibility here that you will feel a lot more happier a lot more lighter at the end of the day at the end of this cycle so um yeah communications is going to be big answers is going to be big and there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming in with uranus gemini in the second house 
your nerves are going to be very sensitive. So be careful of drink, drinking a lot of alcohol or, you know, this could be a scenario wherein you're talking to people and maybe you don't mean to say things that you are going to say. It's like a, an energy wherein you are trying to keep a secret and then suddenly it comes out. You suddenly have a slip of tongue that can occur as well so um yeah that will be crazy if that was the case this could also be your secret being released to the public that is also possible as well not just with the other person but um with anyone in general and you will have your own thoughts on how to deal with that secret as you go along to December but all I know is that there is going to be a burden that is going to be lifted from you from knowing this information from knowing this secret so um yeah it can be quite dramatic but try to be more positive with life don't try to think too much because Sometimes when we make mistakes, we get a lot paranoid with a lot of things and one thought can be exaggerated into something else. And, you know, even though it's not really a problematic situation, at the end of the cycle, it can be quite of a crazy situation as a result. So, um, yeah, your emotions need to be in check all the time it has to be moderate even though that i know that emotions are not easily controlled i would just you know i i'm hoping that this reading can give you some form of guidance or reminder that whenever your emotions are running high try to at least count one to ten before you say anything, before you conclude on anything, because this can also be a scenario wherein you might just be having that paranoia and assuming things that are not true as well. And you might be saying things that later you could regret. So um, yeah, it's going to be a case-by-case -case scenario. So I'm just giving you guys all the possible scenarios that this can occur. So um, yeah. I kind of feel that with Gemini in focus here and communication really highly emphasized, this can be happening um, after the full moon in Gemini or within the full moon of Gemini, which is going to be happening around December 12th or 13th onwards, I believe. So, um, yeah. Um... Yeah, this is the reading that I'm picking up with you guys. I'm not really sure if this is insightful or anything like that. But I do hope that the information that I have given you guys will be able to help you and shed some form of clarity to you at the end of the day. And, you know, give you some form of hints and help on how you can navigate the energy at December as well. So um yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And if you'd like a more personal and you know straight to the point reading, just book with me on my website in the starspikecrazy.com and I'll see you guys next year.